someone wanted to know about thalamic dazzle, and it sounds real fancy because it's dazzle, but it's not really. So thalamic da dazzle is a painless intolerance to the light. So it's very similar to photophobia and photosensitivity, but as opposed to the photophobia patients, they don't really have any pain. They just say, I don't like the light. So that's kind of phobia, I'm afraid of the light. But as opposed to uveitis where they're like, it painful, these people just say, I don't like the light. So the reason it's important is the thalamus is like a relay station where signals are coming in and being processed at a subcortical level before they go to the cortex. And so there's a trigeminal pathway that connects to the thalamus and that trigeminal thalamic input can produce symptoms that seem to suggest that it's the eye when it's really intracranially in your thalamus. And so the prototype for this is when you have a thalamic infarction. So if someone has a stroke, a cerebrovascular accident in the thalamus, they might complain about photophobia. That's a very strange complaint. The other way we see this is sometimes pituitary lesions cause the same symptom. Photophobia in the setting of a bitemporal hemianopsia could be the equivalent of thalamic dazzle. And so the key and differentiating thing is the company it keeps. So like photosensitivity alone is not enough to image someone. How about photosensitivity and a right homonymous hemianopsia? Well, that you should image because that's gonna suggest that it's PCA distribution infarction. Or if you have photophobia and bitemporal hemianopsia, well, that's also going to be image because that's going to be in the chiasm. Okay. And both of those painless intolerance to light plus visual field defect could be thalamic dazzle.